between Bolton and Watford. And they're back. Big news for the Geordies. Let's rejoin Andy Gray and Martin Tyler. Well, Newcastle play their big card. Whether it'll be a trump card, we wait to see. The big Scott, Duncan Ferguson, is coming on for the second half in place of Didi Hammer, who's got a hip injury. That will necessitate a change in another part of the team. But Duncan Ferguson has hurt Manchester United in the past. Six appearances against them, four goals including coming on here to help Everton win the cup at Manchester United's expense four years ago. How fit he is, well, you will judge for yourselves. He's going into hospital on Monday for another groin operation. I would suggest it's how fit he believes he is that holds the key to whether Ferguson can help Newcastle turn it round with the second half underway. Well, all Newcastle fans hope he's fit enough, Martin, to rise to a cross and nod it in past Peter Schmeichel. That would be fitness enough. I certainly think he's fit enough to do that. But like Rodney said at half-time, now he's on. We need to provide him with some service. Shearer, can't chase that. Ferguson, he'll be offside. I think another thing that Newcastle didn't do enough was, was getting midfield players actually up, not only in contact with the front two, but past them. And I just think with Kits Bayer now just dropping off, they've almost gone three narrow in midfield, which if they do do that with Solano, Speed and, and Lee, it makes you wonder how on earth they're going to get the ball wide from there. And Kits Bayer will be given that little free roll to get forward and, and join the front two. It's going to be an interesting 45 minutes. Griffin is nowhere to go from here, but infield. Well, Duncan Ferguson wins the header, and Alan Shearer has got some uh, power up there with him, physical power. I remember Manchester United going to Goodison, Martin, in a league match maybe a couple of seasons ago when Duncan was at his pump and his full power. And they played him, and they played him well, but what they didn't do was try and win the first header. They accepted that he might win the first header, but they would mop up and win the bits, and keep them at the edge of the box. They did it very well on the night, I remember. There was some speculation as to whether if Ferguson came on, the upstam, who is a substitute for Manchester United today, would uh, immediately be summoned to uh, try and cope with that strong aerial power. Lee provides some power on the ground through the centre. There is no one wide on the right, again, to emphasise Andy's point. Solano lurking left, but the pass gave him no chance. Lee, it's a bit better from Newcastle. Let's buy it. Shearer's gone to the right. Let's buy has a crack, but it's hardly a cracker. No, I just think Newcastle United ought to the fans, Martin, to have a go. I thought their performance was very sterile last year against Arsenal. Unimaginative. Didn't give any of these Jordi fans anything, any hope at all. Shearer did hit the post, but I always felt Arsenal had a gear or two more to go up to if they needed it. And I just think 45 minutes here, the support that they've brought down from the North East deserves a team to really have a go at Manchester United. Well, a year ago, it was a, a second Arsenal goal by Nicholas Anelka that really killed them off. Manchester United looking for that position. But it was a strange first half in many ways. With the teams attacking the ends where their supporters are massed. With the, uh, an increase in the volume. And Duncan Ferguson guides it down. Solano coming in. That's the uh, problem that Manchester United have got. And he might reach this. He's not going to pull out of a challenge with Schmeichel either. Well, he's given a free kick the referee on the edge of the box. I'm not so sure it was. But the earlier head is the one. This is what I mean. They allow him to win that one. And what they're trying to concentrate on, they're saying, OK, you're not going to score from there, Duncan. And here's where he gives a free kick against them. I'm not so sure it was. But that's what they're saying. You ain't going to score with a header from the 18-yard line. So the theory is, defend the second ball. But the, th the trouble is then, if you just get off him a bit slacker and he finds himself seven or eight yards further in, then he can bury them from that sort of range. 
give him the right sort of service. Yeah. He is unstoppable. I don't often agree with players that, that are unstoppable, but I think you're right in his case in the end. An awful lot of tall players I've known over the years don't, don't really jump their height. That certainly couldn't be levelled against that guy. He does climb. Certainly in 1999, Manchester United have been unstoppable. 31 games unbeaten. Going back to that home defeat by Middlesbrough in mid-December. Leading Newcastle here in the FA Cup final, and Andy Cole trying to get some help from Solskjaer. Diggs, Solskjaer neatly to Sheringham. Good reach there by Davizas. Just get the feeling we're moving into the real meat of the contest. Griffith, both sides attacking, well, respected ends as well. I think that always helps lift the game. Cole using his strength against Xavi. Griffin scampering back. Andy Cole going on, looking for Sheringham. And at the boot of Nikos Davizas. Speed. Solano just took his eye off the ball, but it ran on for Duncan Ferguson. Ferguson v Ferguson now. Shearer is disappointed. Port Neville gave Schmeichel a horrendous back pass in the first half, and that wasn't much better on the young left back getting his ears worn by the goalkeeper's comments. Yeah, I don't know why he doesn't just put his right foot through it and help it 60 yards forward. Lee, a bit more composure in Newcastle's midfield, and then the ball for Duncan Ferguson. And Newcastle's attempts to get players around the knockdown, even if it doesn't come cleanly down. Be some pickings there. Lee now gets by. Only on the move from left back. Gets by waiting for the moment to find the right sort of pass. There it is. Domi, Sheeran, and Ferguson. They've only started four games together since Duncan Ferguson moved from Everton back in the autumn. What a partnership they could be if uh, fitness can coincide and sure has kept going without a great deal of support to get 21 goals this season. Solano, cleared by Gary Neville. I'm not so sure who's Martin Ferguson, I don't think the Manchester United players know either. At that corner, they all had the players that they'd had in the first half. And suddenly, the most powerful header of the ball was unmarked. Solano wants handball then and he's got to... 30,000 Geordie voices backing him up. Peter Jones was unmoved. Domi. Straight ball for Duncan Ferguson, but he's won it. Shearer almost back to Ferguson again. Brilliant defending. Ronnie Johnson took a gamble, Martin. He chanced his arm, but Shearer was going to repay Ferguson and play him in. So that was ball. an opening. Poor ball by Davies Ass. And Ryan Giggs on the sprint. Solskjaer and Sheringham can tee up, Paul scores, 2-0! Wrap it up for me, wrap it up. Unbelievable, They've been on the back foot for the majority of the second half. Ryan Giggs chases a hopeful pass, this is not great defending. Knocking a ball back in there, put it in Rose head, son, keep it safe. But he keeps a ball in, doesn't deal with it. And what a lovely little touch from Teddy Sherry. I'm so aware of Scholes backing him up. And this young lad with an eye for goal loves this place so much. Fresh from a hat trick for England, he's now adding an FB Cup final goal to his tally. Well, every picture tells a story. Well. Ferguson told me before the game, the one I'm worried about is Paul's goals. He's been very unwell over the past couple of days. He need not have worried. It's 2-0 now to the United from Manchester. Well, if it, if it was a mountain they were climbing, Martin, well, what is it now before the game now? Well, they'll need all the 
capacity to climb of Shearer and Ferguson. Lovely setup. Look at Sherry and we're saying, look, what do you want? What do you want? Who wants it? Hit it. Lovely strike. But Sheringham standing there unattended. Davies ass had gone wide. And uh, cleared it back into play. Well, I think when you look to the side, I said at the beginning there were six players, the back four and the two wide players really had to protect and play well. More blood shed on the battlefield, but he'll be happy to shed it, David Beckham. Because that man's put his side. Well, not an easy street, work to be done, but has given them a lovely cushion to any side being in a cup final with one. Paul Scholes was a substitute when they lost here in 95, a substitute when they won in 96 Manchester United. And Alec Ferguson saying, I've got to play him today for all sorts of reasons, but for warm, fatherly reasons as much as football reasons. Big ten minutes, Mark. Newcastle are to get back you in the game. You can see he's coughing and spluttering. You know he's an asthmatic as well. Paul Scholes, can Rude Hullet do anything to change this? Well, as I was saying, a big ten minutes. I think if Newcastle are to do anything, they must, they must get a goal back in the next 10 or 15 minutes of this football match. Chavo with the free kick. Sailed over Duncan Ferguson that time. Cole. Oh, they're got runners on the right-hand side. Oh, better ball in the end. They really are at times all over the place. Talk about ball watching. Every back four player, look at them. Everyone is right side of the pitch. And a better ball. Scrolls is breaking. Solskjaer's breaking. That's the danger now for Newcastle United. Pushing forward that they get caught with the pace of Cole and Giggs and Solskjaer. Well, the Newcastle fans will remember a certain charity shield not too long ago, which finished Manchester United 4, Newcastle nil, and Dwight York, so disappointed not to be in from the start, looks as though he's going to be involved in an FA Cup final for the first time in his life. And it's not a bad time to come on. <laughs> Griffin. One touch in from Rob Lee. Schmeichel knocks it down for Ketspire, past the goalkeeper. David May was guarding the post. Well, that's that's as close as Newcastle have come by some distance. Lovely ball in from Rob Lee. It was touched back to him from Griffin. One touch and in. It's well, Newcastle have to go for it and uh, take the risks that could mean a real uh, heavy beating here, but could still, if they can get a goal quickly, get them back into this FA Cup final. Good defending by Charvet. Victories have come from Manchester United. 4-0 in a replay against Brighton. 4-0 against Chelsea. Steve Clark on the uh, Newcastle bench. Well, remember that. Well, this might be the big chance in the match that they needed to take. It's Alan Shearer who goes in and causes the problems. But is it the post? Is it both? It's the post. Just inside. I don't think David May was getting it. Well, it was a width of a, po a post last year. Proved so crucial in the match that time Shearer struck the post. Arsenal went on to win 2 0. Ferguson has done that very neatly. Domi, Duncan Ferguson again. But it uh, unluckily ran for him to Ryan Giggs and Beckham. And they are here for the taking on the counter attack. Newcastle, you feel that's very well reached by Dabby's ass. Not half. <laughs> Back to Lee. And from Rob Lee again, but didn't get the height. 
David May dealt with it comfortably. Uh, Dwight York still waiting, Martin stretching. Maybe that shot against the post just made Alex Ferguson just change his mind for a little bit and say, well, let's just hold on a minute. must be wondering what they've got to do to score a Wembley goal. None here against Arsenal in the FA Cup, none in that charity shield that I mentioned against Manchester United. They go back to 74, they played in the FA Cup final and they lost 3-0 to Liverpool. Do you want more bad news for the Newcastle fans? Yeah. When was the last time Manchester United lost a two-goal lead? You tell me. 15 years ago. Well, Dwight York will be coming on to try and add to that two-goal lead. Yeah, it's a half each for the duo, almost. Sandy Cole's done his bit. And now Dwight York's first taste of what this competition's all about, really, the final. <laughs> what it came to Manchester United to do. by David Beckham. Now they make the 2-0 up, Alex Ferguson still has plenty to say right on the edge of the pitch. Knows the soul, still some work to be done. Don't get to the uh, brink of a domestic double. Are you taking things for granted and uh, still got a reasonable touch? Are you sure? That was his left peg. <laughs> he never had a reasonable touch with that when he played. <laughs> Only with his elbows, they tell me. <laughs> That's a corner. That's very much uphill for Newcastle. making his run from the edge of the area. Skulls lurking with some intent. Giggs. Oh, it's a great cross, maybe a millimetre or so too high for Dwight York to convert. Absolutely right, that's all it was. Wonderful cross from Ryan Giggs. Andy Griffin trying to do his best, he can't stop him getting a half yard. Again, the marking is absolutely shocking. Middle of the six-yard box. That should be better than that. And they're right, a foot lower, and it is 3-0. Well, 20 years ago, Arsenal were 2-0 up against Manchester United, who got it back to 2-2 then. Still lost. Gates, Beckham's on the move through the centre. York knew where Beckham was, couldn't quite find him. Sheringham backing up the play. Well, there's gaps, Mark, that turns up on the, at the back. Huge gaps. They're just punching all the right in York. Stemming the flow is hard enough for Newcastle, let alone trying to make inroads on the scoreline. York can use Gary Neville, Scholes. 
for York. Scholes wants it back, gets it back. And he get another one here. Well, there's a deflection because uh, Harper was going the other way and was relieved to see the ball roll wide of his left-hand post. That would have been one of Wembley's great goals. The amount of passes and the movement that went into this, but once again, no one tracks the runner. They just get caught under his feet a little. Paul scores at the vital moment. Another Beckham corner. Giggs! Goodness me! Is that his right foot? <laughs> he looks a little surprised. <laughs> well, he vowed he would never take his shirt off in a celebration like he did in the semi-final. Well, he might have done if this had gone in. That would have been one for the scrapbook. Difficult volley, watched it beautifully. Hit it beautifully. I said you watch goalkeepers, you know how worried they are. Steve Harper scrambling across his goal. Lee. Sheringham just teasing it forward. Dwight York is away, mistake by Dabizas. Giggs. Here's Solskjaer. Oh, and Harper's lost it. And now can get it right on the line. Fighting each other almost for the right to make it 3-0 Manchester United. Well, I think this should be dropped off to Scholes again. But again, they're just, I mean, who wants it? They're almost saying that. Look at Giggs, Solskjaer. They just drop it off the edge of the box. Scholes right on the edge. Struck, shot was poorly struck. Harper got his little bit of luck. Well, the dominant, absolutely dominant at the moment. Manchester United. Let's go to Clive Allen, who's down by that goal where Steve Harper is having such a busy time. Well, Martin, I'm right in front of the goal here, and it's quite remarkable movement for Manchester United. Newcastle defensively have lost their shape and you can only see more goals coming from the United front players. Quite exceptional interplay movement. Newcastle did not know how to stop it at this moment in time. Hey, Allen, right in front of the goal, did he see? Again? God, that is where he always was. <laughs> Hullett has only previously lost one FA Cup tie as a manager and that was against Manchester United, that 5-3 third round tie last year when Chelsea, then the holders, were knocked out at Stamford Bridge. Alex Ferguson, about so 20 minutes or so away from becoming the first manager ever to be in charge of four FA Cup winning teams. That is, unless Newcastle produce one of the miracles of the competition. The problem at the moment is Limiting the damage. Sharing him. Charvey gets there. Yet again, though, Mark. I mean, that ball's what travelled 30 yards, 40 yards through the air. And Teddy Sheringham just unmarked. Could have taken it in his chest, just nods a little ball to Ryan Giggs. Griffin. Ambition here, the 20 year old. As Rude Hullet looks to make another substitution, Silvio Maric, the Croatian. He hasn't set the time on fire since he uh, came over the second half of the season. He is a, a top talent. So much so that he interested Manchester United earlier in the season. He's on for Solano. a second you can dominate and dominate matches but it only takes a second for someone at the edge of the box just to thrash at one and end up in the top corner and that's what Manchester United have to be wary of 
Seven clubs have lost successive finals in the FA Cup, including Newcastle, who will be hoping not to repeat their experience in...